Hi world, it's Chatty Dad One for Nuke the News Media here with you today. Sovereignty. Sovereignty is the quality of having independent authority over a geographic area, such as a territory. It can be found in a power to rule and make laws. Um, sovereignty is uh, basically becoming um, the you know rule over your land, your property, your things, your own stuff. You have sovereignty over it. Um, oh boy, sovereignty is under attack, big time, especially sovereign citizens. Now the sovereign citizen thing was really, really taken off because it was people basically going and doing the necessary paperwork to withdraw themselves from the system to where they did not have to pay taxes. They did not have to do these things that are not constitutionally, um, they're, it's non-constitutionally, uh, or what I'm trying to say is, is all the stuff that and laws that we're subject to is unconstitutional. Paying taxes, this and that, this stuff is not in the Constitution. I mean, some things of it in there is, but sovereignty is under attack big time. Um, sovereign citizens, Huffington Post, sovereign citizens arrest or terror plot. Okay, they are now looking at sovereign citizens and the sovereign movement as a terrorist movement. When just a year ago, two years ago, it was looked at as a movement to be able to break free from the system, to not be under the authority of the federal government corporation. Um, so, I mean, look at this, a sex offender, you know, um, they're going after them hard because once you become a sovereign, the government has no rights to detain you, to convict you to do any of these things. Here's from the FBI. Sovereign citizens, a growing domestic terror threat to law enforcement. Like I said, just a couple years ago, it was a big movement. Sovereign citizens could go in to any court and uh, the judge would would throw it out. You've seen the videos on YouTube, I'm sure, of people being pulled over and um, declaring that they are traveling, that they don't have but one name, that they are not required to give their name, and uh, the, the cops end up letting them go because there ain't nothing they can do about it because the person is now broken free from the system, from the incorporated government. They don't have a social security number anymore. They don't have to have a driver's license. They don't have to have all these things that most people are tricked into believing that we must have. Now, um, I am not a sovereign citizen, but I do subscribe to a um, thing called Sovereign Man, and I mean, is that going to make me a flippin' terrorist, you know? 
I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. They're going after the sovereigns big time. Big time. Sovereign citizens known by officials for violence and disruption. That's couldn't be further from the truth. They've taken one incident and run with it. I don't know that these people are even involved with the sovereign movement or not, for sure. But, uh, by golly, they're going after them hard, hard and heavy. So if you're a, a sovereign, watch your back. Watch your back. Because you're no longer safe. And uh, I'd like to show something here. Um, sovereigns is a king, queen. They are sovereign citizens. You know, they don't have to, they're not under the same laws as the rest of us. These sovereign um, people, but you know everything here now on the sovereign movement is terrorists, sex offenders, thieves, rapists. I mean, you name it. Who are sovereign citizens? Loose network of people who don't believe in federal control. Absolutely not. They don't believe in federal control. They believe in. Uh, natural law, the laws of, uh, you know, natural law, you don't kill, don't steal, be a good person, you know, natural law, they don't believe in, in just going, and they are not anarchists, they're sovereign, these are people who just wanted to break away from the system, get away from the government, they don't, uh, they've removed their paperwork, all the stuff that they have, their birth certificate, their social security number, their driver's license, they have them no more. And they're not required to under the Constitution. You're not required to have all this stuff. And so sovereigns, I mean, they get pulled over all the time, and there's nothing that the cops can do about it, they let them go every time. Because when they say, do you understand? When a, when a judge says, do you understand the charges that I've read to you? They are saying, do you stand under my authority? And if you say yes, you've just forfeited your rights. You've just forfeited your rights when you say, yes, I understand. Because you're saying, yes, I stand under your authority. That makes them the sovereign over you. Anyway, I just, uh, this is an alert. I want to get this out to people. Like I say, I'm not a sovereign myself. Um, and by golly, they're going after them hard. So if you are a sovereign, careful. Watch your back. I know that sovereigns aren't sovereign citizens. They're not all these boogeyman and bad things that they're making them out to be. You know, I think this is wrong for them uh, making them look like this. And there's so much more stuff on it. So much more. And it's really, really changed drastically in the last two or three years the sovereign movement was really really picking up a lot of steam and that's why they're stepping on it now anyway I just wanted to send this out make people aware of it share this with your friends neighbors who believe in freedom and justice this is chatty dad one for nuke the news media never give up your guns or your rights go right along with them what rights we have left do all you can to prepare for the things to come. It doesn't hurt to have an extra supply of things that you may need. You may have a uh, 
neighbor who needs some extra food or you may get laid off from your job where you're going to have to dip into it. I know that I've dipped into my food storage several times and I've been grateful that I've had it. Hope everyone's having a great day. This is Chatty Dad 1 for Nuke the News Media. Over and out.